Welcome to how to create an email service to update the status of an incident in BMC Helix Remedy Force. In this video, we'll be creating an email service to update an incident status and some other fields based on a field called Event ID. For this to work, we must use an, the generic email listener class in creating the email service. The Event ID must be mapped in Incident Email Settings. The event ID must be referenced in the email sent to the email service and the event ID must match the event ID of the incident to be updated. If it doesn't, a new incident will be created. And finally, the event ID must be unique across all incidents. We've created an idea to improve and enhance the feature of this class and you can vote on that idea and add comments to it on communities.bmc.com via the link below. First thing we do is go on to set up and create an email service. So I click find type email and click on email services. Click new email service. We'll call it status updates. And then select the generic email listener class. Make sure you select the class and not the test class. We'll keep it simple so we'll just set it to active and then click save. I'd encourage you to enable error routing if you're doing this on your own for testing purposes. Click new email address. Give the email address the title and then remove the email from the accept email from. This will allow the email service to accept email from any user and click save. Okay, once that's done, we go to the Remedy Force Administration tab. And we, from the Home tab, we select Configure Email, Incident Email Settings. We want to make sure the event ID is mapped. So we'll select the field and then uh, we're looking in the body of the email message and then the keyword will be event ID in this case no spaces and we'll make note that our delimiter is percent percent and click save now one of the limitations of this and the source for the idea is often when we're using the email service we're creating incidents from email uh, via the normal email listener. We want to populate the description with the complete email message. Well, if you do that, what happens is the generic email listener overwrites uh, the incident description. So that's one of the causes for the idea. Uh, if you can do without that, go ahead and remove this field. Uh, otherwise, you can expect it to be overwritten anytime that you do a status update. An alternate option is to create another text field and map it and let the email service use that so the incident description doesn't get overwritten. But again, that's one of the limitations to it, so just be aware of it. Um, the options, as we said, you can remove it or leave it, change it to something else, but just, just be aware of it. In, in some situations, if you need the description and the event ID, this video won't apply then. So once that's done, click Save. Now for testing, just email directly to uh, this particular email address. Before we craft the email, we're going to open an incident and select an incident to be updated. So we use 37609. In this case, we assume that an incident has already been created and it doesn't have an event ID, so we're going to we're going to put one in here. And for our purposes, we'll name it the same as the incident number. It can be whatever you want. Just make a note of it as this has to match if you remember the conditions on the PowerPoint. Okay, and then click save. Okay, so now we have the body of the email. You notice we have the event ID, which corresponds to the event ID in the case down in the lower right. And we're going to manipulate the category and we're going to change the status to open. Before I do that, I want to make sure the status of the ticket is not open, otherwise we we'll, won't work. Okay, so it's already open. So let's change it. Let's change the status to completed. 
And for the generic email listener class, um, the subject can be whatever we want. We'll just call it test. So now we're going to send in the email. You'll notice it's going to the email address of the email service that we created that uses the generic email listener class. And we're mapping event ID, which we have in the body of the ticket right here. And then we're going to update the category and the status. We click send, give it a little bit to process, and then we'll refresh the incident page. And let's see, see if it's been updated. Okay, so there we have 2.57 p.m. So like as noted in the mapping, since the description copies the email message, uh, the incident description was updated. You'll see the status was changed to completed and the category is set to hardware. So this completes how to create an email service to update the status of an incident in BMC Helix Remedy Force.